Undertaker, you call yourself the personification of evil? Well, I say you're the personification of boredom. <laughs> So I wanted to do a video of my WWF collection. Um, I used to be into wrestling. Um, who hasn't? Um, not so much anymore. Can't say. The last time I watched it was so called WWF, so that might clue you into uh, when the last time I watched was. But um, So these guys are kind of from early 2000s. Uh, I mean, yeah, early 2000s, late 90s. Um, this is going to be part of them because there's so many I can't send them all up but alright so I have Vince McMahon um, these are all really great figures and uh, actually doing this because I wanted to have memories of them because <laughs> I'm gonna be selling them on eBay and stuff so um, Triple H X-Pac Billy Gunn in the back there, there's Mankind, um, Mankind water bottle, <laughs> I got that at a WWF event one time when I was little, um, not when I was little, but in my teens, early teens, um, there's Christian and Edge, uh, Road Dog, Triple H, yeah, um, then there's the huge Titan Tron thing, that is probably one of the, sorry, I'm like on the floor trying to do this. <laughs> it's probably uh, one of the greatest play sets I've ever had. Um, you, you put the character, all the characters have little metal things in their feet. And when you put them on the little metal things there, it lights up and um, plays their intro music. It's kind of limited to a certain amount of characters, but um, they all have the ability. Um, they all play something, even if it's just like regular like music, but uh, it's Kent Shamrock. Um, over here, there's Chris Jericho uh, and Fruk and Brad Branshaw or Petra back in the day when they were uh, APA. And Kurt Angle back when he had hair. Um, so. Here's just kind of a zoomed out look at it. <laughs> I have it all set up. Tables and chairs and stuff like that. That's um, some of them. I actually sold some of them off already. Actually a while ago. And I haven't gotten around to selling these guys. I'm gonna miss them. But <laughs> Alright, so this is part of it. I better hurry up because I have a lot more to show. Be afraid. Be very afraid. I've come from the dark side to take your soul. If you think you've got a headache now, it's nothing compared to the full-blown migraine you're going to have when I'm finished with you. Alright, so moving on to the next set. These are some of the older ones. Um, they're kind of like squishier. Um, they're like kind of bendy, but not quite the bend them things. Um, here's Mankind with the Sako. Thing. This is one of the, again one of the older ones. Um, then we have uh, name, Jeff Hardy next to a ladder. <laughs> um, another Undertaker, another Triple H. Um, one of my personal favorites, uh, Scotty Too Hotty and Rikishi. <laughs> um, Then another Vince McMahon. I think that, yeah, Edge in the background there. Um, Chris Jericho. He's probably my favorite of all time. Um, I mean, when he first came in, he was definitely, on my, I mean, to the WWF, he was um, my favorite, definitely. And my other favorite. 
was Mick Foley Mankind. <laughs> and that's another one of him. Um, then another Undertaker. This one's kind of a plain looking one. Um, this is the trash talking stage. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember how many characters are actually compatible with it, but they actually have a lot of sayings. Um, let's see. Chris Benoit. <laughs> And it's kind of a odd shot of them. Let's scan through them again. Next show, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Socko. Do you smell la la la? What the sock is cooking? I am a surprisingly good dancer. Large man. So now just like the uh, leftover random stuff I have. These are uh, the Bendums. They're very um, squishy and little. Um, there's the Godfather, Big Boss Man, Undertaker, Ahmed Johnson, <laughs> um, Vince McMahon. Uh, I think that's Big Show. I'm not sure. Um, then I got these like stuffed doll things which are uh, Dude Love, who's Mick Foley um, <laughs> I, always, I always thought these were cool um, then Billy Gunn Triple H it's more of a, his old school snobby Hunter Hearst Helmsley look <laughs> um, Let's see what else. Uh, some really old ones. The, uh, wow, his foot's really dusty. Um, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and Ultimate Warrior. <clears throat> these are the very, I think these are the first set of, like, action figures WWF ever came out with. I'm not too sure about that. I used to have Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I don't know where he went, but these ones are cool. These ones are actually in rough shape, though. Um, then I have like a whole bunch of uh, cards, like a big stack of them. Can't really see it that good, but they're very like, there you go, like, shiny cards. They're really good, nice cards. Um, then I have like a little handheld Mankind little game. <laughs> and yeah, just some random obscure stuff some stickers of Stone Cold. Um, two keychains. It's the Undertaker and Stone Cold. I can't really see the detail, but these I might keep these actually. I need some keychains. But yeah, that's my uh, collection, what's left of it. Um, I already sold off um, a long time ago, like all the Stone Cold and Rock figures. Cause, you know, they were the most popular. Um, yep. Uh, if there's any like special requests, like uh, if you saw any figures you really liked, just let me know and I could probably work something out with you. And uh, at some point I'll leave a link uh, for eBay if anyone just wants to do it through that way. But yeah, that's my collection. Um, I'm gonna miss these guys, <laughs> but I haven't. I haven't been into wrestling in a while and I'm pretty broke at the moment. So, yeah, thanks for watching.